Tamatu Tamora, the boy who stands up will live, or stands up for his identity will live, um, strong in their identity, and Tamanoho Tamamate, the boy who doesn't, won't have a sense of um, identity, culture, and just knowing where they belong in the wider world. The vision in terms of Tutama Ora is that our boys grow to be proud Ngapuhi men that have the strength to make the hard decision, that have the knowledge to ask questions, that have the um, resilience to make change if they have to. For us, that's what's been the big drive for ourselves as kaipo and our tamariki, and they've made some leaps and bounds. I've always believed our system is wrong for our kids, and if you only focus in on the tiny parts, you miss the whole. And we're not bits and pieces of a body. You don't just focus on an arm and a leg or an eye or an ear. You focus on the whole ahu of a child. So therefore, as a person, you need to be able to do everything and look at what they're doing. We've been working on understanding what whakapapa is and what wealth is in terms of us as a people. The focus has been so much on reading, writing and mathematics mm. is that we've forgotten oh. about actually the wairua mm. of our learners oh. and the growth of them. We did triathlon first term. We were out there doing the bike riding, doing the running up to our tunnel and back. The boys had to figure out how far it was to go there. So they had to Google map and look at the distance and work out how far do we have to run, how far do we have to ride in order to achieve the milestones they needed. When it's real like that, they get so much more out of it as a person than if we were to read a story, if we were to write about something that wasn't real. So when they come back, they were able to write about it. It was real. This term, we're doing a lot of high risk activities. Um, this term I decided our physical ones were going to be the looking at mental mindset and strengthening their mindset because our year eights have to move on. Mm -hmm. We've already had some of them saying, oh, can we go back to year seven and stay two more years? And it's like, no, you've got to go on. So what we want you to do is be prepared for the next lot of teachers you get. So it's about how we can best prepare them for where they're going. And so that they can hold their own so that they don't have to revert back because of peer pressure. Think about something, one thing that you've learnt this year, so far. I learned how to turn into a year eight. I learned how to treat everyone the same, like a family. I learned about my culture more and my marae. I learned about my whakapapa and where I was from. And about what communities. I learned to be a leader, not a boss. Very whanautanga um, orientated um, and, and and our, our kaiakos, um, their, their main principle was to um, bring strong rangatahi up. And at this time, our kids are um, they're in their tutu mode. Mm -hmm. um, they're wanting to experience things, you know. But our, our, our teachers keep them taut um, and keep them real. Um, their self-identity is strong. And, and it's a, a strong point that we as, as parents want for our kids to know where they belong. Um, my moko is, this is his first time here, his name is Te um, I've just seen such a beautiful change in him as far as being more open. Um, he's learning to, he has learnt actually to um, stand up and do his mahi uh, in front of people and the programme has taught him to socialise more with other tamariki and whanau. I've seen a, a big change in, um, in Zeke, um, he's opening up a bit more. My oldest son, who used to come here, he was another one, he was coming home with attitudes and all these different, it was wicked. And then seeing Raymond, who's in this programme, seeing how he comes home with 
No attitude, mate. Always confident. Oh, he's not shy. He's why well, not shy kid. <laughs> My nephew is Indian. Um, so to have him be a part of Tuta Maura, um, seeing him grow, he can speak Māori, listening to him stand up today, he hasn't done that at home, so I was like gobsmacked. Um, just so proud of where he's come from. Yeah, I'm really pleased with my son, he's actually got respect. Um, not only for himself, but for others in the house. I got him taking up the gate at home, he's fist punching the air. What's up boy? I just realised it's Sunday, I've got school tomorrow, he's happy as. And he loves it here. Just the growth. They're growing all the time. Every week you just see a different, like a different light, like they shine. If I had that opportunity to grow up with my peers um, and be closer to them, I think I would have been developed a lot faster. Yeah, I'm just absolutely blown away with it. I think it's the best thing that's um, come along in a long time and um, it definitely works. We don't need to know everything. We just need to know where we're going and where we want to go and then how we're going to get there. You know, everybody's got a different path in life. So I'm hoping, my own hope is that what we're teaching them is how to go about finding their future and how to get there.